Hey YouTube, it's Brooks here from 363 here, and today I'm going to show you how to make an NPC that follows you. Now this can be used for many games, just like zombies, or your new RPG game, or maybe your built to survive, whatever you want. So, what we're going to do is just go to Studio, Roblox Studio, and uh, you're going to want to see a few things. You're going to see Explorer, Properties, the Output, you want to come over here and right click, do Advanced Objects, and you want to see your Toolbox. Now what you want to do is come over to the search bar, type in dummy, and just scroll down to find one that you like. Usually I get the one with the targets. That's the easiest one. And what you want to do is come over here with workspace. And you want to insert a script. So just search that. Just insert that script over here. I'm going to delete this. And what we're going to start out as is a while loop. So what we're going to do is while true and what that's going to do is run an infinite loop and what we want to do is wait 0.5 seconds and uh, we're going to come over here and we're going to start seeing what to do with the position of the dummy and the player so we're going to make an if statement so what an if statement does is it controls what's what so you know just any kind of if so if game dot players dot player one dot character character uh dot humanoid dot let's see I think it's no it's torso there you go uh, torso isn't equal to nil then okay so that's just saying if the if the player is there and his torso is alright everything's there then what we're going to do is make another if we're going to make that end and what we're going to do is see if the distance between the torso of player one and the dummy is less than 10 units, less than or equal to 10 units. So we're going to do game of players of player one's torso minus uh, game dot work space dot dummy and then we're going to do humanoid nope, still torso dot torso that position. And you gotta put position of this torso as well. Is less than or equal to 10. Then what we want to do is say follow is equal to true. Now we're gonna come up here, make follow a variable is equal to false. So they will not follow at the beginning. And what you want to do is put wait one at the top, which allows your player one character to load. Okay. Now, uh, what we want to do is make another if if follow. So if follow is equal to true, then what we want to do is say game dot work space. All this dot is is just saying where to go so game is where it starts it's the game and then dot workspace which is the workspace and then you want to go to dot dummy which is the dummy and then you now you want to go to humanoid dot humanoid and the properties are what's next so next we want is what we want is walk to point so we want to do walk to point to game dot players. Actually, we're just going to copy this. Torso dot position. <sighs> so what it does is it says if the player's there, then if the player's 
position is less than it minus the other minus the dummy's position is less than or equal to 10 units then follow is equal to true if follow then uh, set the want point to the player's torso position wait 0.5 and do it, do it all let's see and then oh oh we need to put this to x Alright, so now we're going to test it, we're going to drop in, this thing's going to start coming after me. So, like, subscribe, comment, in my next video I'll show you how to make an even better dummy, one that will walk and even hurt you. Alright, that's it for now YouTube, thank you for watching, and uh, subscribe, comment, and leave your requests for more tutorials down in the comments. Peace out.